accelerating to sublight. Exiting sublight. Collision warning. Scatter turret. Broadsides. Engines at maximum. Target locked. Nebula interference detected. Accelerating to sublight. Accelerating to sublight. Engines at maximum. Sublight boosters depleted. Scanner.
scatter. Accelerating to sublight. Interference detected. Full stop. Half shields down. Collision warning. Scanner. Target locked. Hailing. Yeah? You got something to say? I got a few tons. Yeah. Listen, you give me a fair price or a few tons of military hardware, and we'll call it square. Whatever. Scatter. Scanning. Target locked. Hailing. Yeah? You got something to say? Over my dead body. Moving to attack. Threat level orange.
depleted. Satellite boosters depleted.
target locked. Satellite boosters defeated. Moving to engage. Satellite boosters defeated. Going to attack. Satellite boosters defeated. at maximum. Satellite boosters depleted. Missiles inbound. Satellite boosters depleted.
Mission complete. Excellent. This Omnium will do nicely. Now, as for this device, it really is quite unusual, and I have made some excellent progress. They call this a Spectre, yes? It is apt, because I believe there is an intelligence contained within. We may never find out. It is only inert because of a lack of power, which it is theoretically capable of absorbing. But centuries of carbon accretion have prevented this. Well, I have removed the carbon. However, the device has not reactivated. It may be nothing more than junk at this point. Please do not mention it. It is an interesting item, but I have wasted enough time. Excuse me. Repairs complete. Welcome. What can I do for Torian outlaws have been a nuisance lately, and when they attack, they do so in great numbers. Of all the old hands that come in here, there's one common trait. They all knew when to run. Yes, I know of a few things. I have some local bounty information if you're willing to purchase it. I've marked the likely locations on your chart. Come back anytime.
Language analysis complete. Select initiating the greeting. Hello. I am nameless, or I have forgotten my name. My reliquary has become active aboard this vessel, and I have integrated with its simple systems. I have not interfaced with life support, navigation, or weapon systems aboard this craft. My intention is not to harm. It is the device in which I reside. I have drawn power from nearby sources in order to activate it, but I am confused. My reliquary is incomplete. My function is impaired. I desire information. You need only remove my reliquary from your vessel in order to sever the connection. That power lies entirely with you. As I have said, my reliquary is incomplete. I am confused. My memory is fragmented. I have reached out to you for help. While this vessel's systems are limited, I could utilize them to detect the fragments of my reliquary. In return, I may be able to offer assistance to you. It is within my power to improve the function of this vessel. I propose an exchange. Help me recover my memories and I will in turn advance the systems of your ship beyond their operating parameters. Do you agree? That is acceptable. I have detected a fragment within this solar system. I am providing you with the approximate coordinates. Although the signal is indistinct, it may be inside a larger mass. You may summon me at any time through the command interface of this vessel. Goodbye. Defeated. I would rate it very good. It's the closest thing if you plan on getting uh, Nomad Sky. It's the closest thing to it. So I definitely recommend that. Well, I, I, I definitely recommend this game. Yeah, it's like the, the best thing to play right now if uh, you plan on buying Nomad Sky. Uh, it's really cool. It doesn't have the vastness of No Man's Sky, but it definitely um, gives you enough to do. Exiting sublight. Sublight boosters depleted. I would recommend it. Um, I'd probably rate it. Well, actually, um, there's really not a story to it. There's really not a story to it. There's not a set story you have to follow. It's basically go where you want, do where you want. You can be either a captain of your ship following the storyline, or you can become a rogue captain 
where you're basically, um, you know, destroying other ships in the uh, galaxy and taking over and, you know, making a name for yourself. Or, you know, you could be a miner. Yeah, the tunes is awesome. The tunes is probably one of the best things about it. The tunes, the graphics, I mean, it's pretty good. It's, it's 19 bucks. I mean, you really can't beat that. Um... Oh, what do we have here? Uh, where am I at? Uh, okay, here we go. Um, like right now, what I'm doing is, um, I'm doing like some mining for a contract. And I'm basically collecting resources. And once I collect enough resources, take it back, collect some funds. I could either upgrade the ship. Uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Not in this particular game, it doesn't get lonely. You'll, you'll find enemies that uh, definitely try to fight you. Broadsides. Yeah, I'm still getting familiar with the controls. I haven't been playing it long, but um, from what I've uh, played so far, it's pretty cool. Accelerating to sublight. Collision warning. Let's see. You definitely got to be careful because you can damage your ship. Enemy craft inbound. Threat level. Threat level. Where's my threat level? Okay, so we got a ship that's trying to attack us. So you want to fight? Is that it? Then let's give you a fight. I like when uh, someone comes to try to attack you. Yeah. Um, it, it definitely has, has more vastness to it than... Uh, Dead Space, but yeah, Dead Space is, is like a rare game in the dark. I'm going in. There you go. Come on. Come on. Don't run. Don't run. I guess I'll come to you then. Enemy ships. That's got him. You can scan ships to see what. Mission complete. <laughs> uh, glad I could, man. That's one of the reasons why I did the video. In case anybody uh, saw any interest in it. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. I mean, it, like I said, it's not uh, No Man's Sky in, in any way, shape, or form, but um, it'll definitely keep you busy until that comes out. It's definitely worth playing. There's a lot to do in it, I will say that. To track. Accelerating to sublight. Uh, let's see what else. 
videos. And then also too, um, you can hire a mercenary to follow you and basically provide you with Exit. cover fire as you do your missions and stuff like that. Warning. Uh, let's see, do I have everything in this area? Okay, so we got... Okay, what's the next thing? Accelerating to sublight. Yeah, it takes a little work trying to get familiar with uh, operating the ship. Some of the weapons are pretty easy to uh, adjust to. Sublight boosters depleted. Uh, let's see, did I do everything I need to do first before I take off from here? Yep, I did. Alright. Hey, you know, this is... To me, this is one of those um, sleeper games. One of those games that has potential. Oh yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate that. I do appreciate you checking out the video. <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely a survival game. That's for sure. I'm really excited about upgrading my ship, adding some better uh, weapons and uh, shielding on it. The only the only drawback to the game is that um, it's a side scroller, meaning not in the sense of you know just going back and forth across the screen, but like when you shoot at enemies, you can only shoot from the side. You can't actually shoot like in the 360 degree range. Accelerating to sublight. Yeah, like when you're in. Yeah, they are. Sublight boosters depleted. It, that's the thing that gets me about the game, man. It's, it, it just has so much realism to it. It, it, it. I mean, it's just awesome all the way around. I had some. Um, I had some uh, credits on the PlayStation Store. And I was just looking for anything new to play. And um, I had seen the uh, trailer for it. And I started looking at it some other stuff. And then some of the music from the game just got stuck in my head. And I kept playing it over and over in my head. And I said, man, I got to get that game, dude. Because the soundtrack alone in the game is just, it's addicting. Yeah, it, it has, um, you can fly past planets. I mean, it, it, it's, it's definitely worth it. I, I can't say that enough. It's definitely worth it. And, um, the graphics, the, the lighting, you know, when you hit your thrusters and you see the flare from the, uh, the trail, it's just like, wow, it's like everything is just, it's just so realistic. It's uh, warp drive. Oh my god, that, that that's what gets me right there. It it builds up its uh, momentum and then it uh, hits its warp engines and it just thrusts. Even though you don't see like a wormhole or you know space flying past you, you get the sense that it's moving really really fast. Oh, 
I love the auto targeting that the weapons have. It's just like awesome. Sure. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks again for stopping by, dude. I appreciate it, and I'm glad that um, it inspired you to want to get it, man. That's what I make my videos for, so definitely uh, when you download it, man, enjoy and have fun. Got him. Yes. Yes. Got some credits. Nice. All right, let's see. Which way do we go now? Okay, on to the next mission. Oh, for sure, man. Sublight boosters depleted. Ah. Uh... Accelerating to sublight. Let's see, where is it at? Oh, okay, there it is. Engines at maximum. Exiting sublight. Okay, I'm not even near the star. Or the... Oh, okay, I see what it is. I see what it is. I gotta get clear of the debris before I can actually engage. Alright, there we go. Yeah, definitely. I agree. It has like a used feel to it. Like, you know, you've been in space just, you know... Like, it's, it's been there for a while. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty detailed. I mean, you know, the ships are pretty detailed. And when you fly past a planet, if you fly too close, um, it, uh, it'll break out of warp. But if you fly at just the right, right distance from a planet, it actually, like, the, the ship slows down in slow motion. And if you go towards, the, if you look at the planet, you can actually see like little small planets circling around the larger planets. And um, when you go past the planet, there's like a little vibration where you can actually feel the pull of the planet's gravity on your ship. It's pretty awesome. It's definitely awesome. Sublight boosters depleted. Sublight boosters depleted. Yeah, I'm, I'm just glad uh, somebody stopped by to check it out, man, because, like I said, that's... Hopefully, if somebody was thinking about buying something interesting and fun to play, you know... Hopefully that's the feeling that uh, you got from watching the video. Sublight boosters depleted. 
Oh, okay. Let me hit my booster. My, uh, my All right, man. Let's see where. Okay. We're heading to the mission. I don't see anything else in front of us. There's nothing around us. What the hell was that? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Thank you again for stopping by and uh, anytime, man. Hey, send me a friend request. Sublight boosters depleted. Uh, what is this? Discover... Exiting sublight. Okay, hit pulse. Slow the ship down, see what we're looking at. Collision warning. Cargo dead drop, okay. Uh, pulse. Engines at maximum. Uh, here we go. Enemy craft inbound. Mission updated. Red. Moving to attack. Okay, so now we're being attacked. Yeah, oh yeah, you don't want to. Do Moving to attack. Oh, I have auto tracking, buddy. So I don't know why you think you're out running my gun. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna slow my shit down. Is that an enemy? Yes, yeah, it is. Moving to attack. Yeah. Alright, we got somebody behind us trying to get us. Oh. Oh man, stop running. Oh, 
point of view. that circles the bigger planet. I just find stuff like that pretty cool. advantages below is balanced sorry by slower aiming however okay. let's see secondary missiles Recognition target lock. 
multiple targets, maybe simultaneously locked. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, man. Once you get it downloaded, it, <laughs> trust me, the load times on the game is relatively low. Uh, there's really no load time on it. Um, what you're looking at right now uh, is the options you have in terms of upgrading your your ship. So you can practically upgrade everything from the uh, ship's defenses to the uh, armor on the ship. Defense. Let's see. Okay, I don't have enough to get that one by for 2500. Let's see. Standard ship armor. Let's see. Shield. Uh, robust damage absorption and a moderate recharge rate make this a commonly installed option. You know what? That's actually not hard to do at all. You could practically go to anybody in the bar, or um, you can find somebody out in space, uh, like a trader or something that may have missions. Um, they they give you a ship when you first start out, and then uh, you can upgrade that ship. And then when you want to purchase different ships, you can purchase different ships. You know, once you have the money saved up and everything. Uh, I can actually show you that you can see right here you can actually rename your ship as well too um, this is what I'm currently using right here and they give you a really good description of the ship and uh, all of its uh, capabilities you, you you would have to save up to get another ship thing is regardless of what ship you have you can upgrade that ship to be uh, very devastating. Uh, they don't have a whole lot of ships, but the ones they have in the game are uh, really effective. I've looked at a video on YouTube of all of these ships that you're seeing right here, and all of them with um, with weapons and uh, defenses. Um, they're they're pretty bad. They're they're pretty badass. Excuse my language. Yeah, but I, I, I love this game. I'm waiting for No Man's Sky to come out, but uh, this is definitely something to keep you entertained until it comes out. Yeah. Uh, this one right here, yeah. It does look like a bug. That's one of the preferred ships of many people that play the game. Yeah, Scarab is pretty cool. I think I like the Scarab over the Manticore. I like that scarab. Hopefully I can build up enough credits. Let me see, how much is that ship? That ship is... Wow. What does that say? That ship is... 36 million... 6... thousand five hundred credits. I'm assuming that's what it means. Could be wrong, but... Uh, I'm just going to build up my uh, current ship until I'm able to actually purchase another one. Alright, components. Yeah, exactly. 
uh, standard booster. Sublight boosters provide seven seconds of improved thrust. Warp drive. Let's see, the MK1 warp drive is both quicker to charge up and has a greater velocity multiplier. Cargo hold. Tractor breathing. Tractor beam. Tractor beam transfers cargo directly to your ship's hull. And let's see, jump drive. Wait, jump drive. Allows capital sized craft to utilize jump gates for instantaneous interstellar intersystem travel. And what is this? Subsystems. Fault tracking software identifies weak points on mineable resources. During a pulse scan, cracking objects along those faults increases mining yield significantly. So, any basically any rock, any asteroid in the uh, galaxy. Oh, most definitely, man. Most definitely. I mean, the the music. You know, you throw on those Terminator shades from the Terminator movie. And you get behind the uh, controls of that ship, and dude, I'm telling you, that's like that's like a that's like a hard a Harley magnified tenfold. Let's see, a mainstay of in system traders with a moderate top speed. Uh, what is this? Plasma drive. A mainstay. Oh yes. Yes, definitely. I definitely see install the component now, yes. Would you like to sell your old? Yes, I would. Yeah, you definitely feel you you definitely feel immersed in the game, man. I, I, I can't stress that enough. Cargo hole, okay, that's installed. Tractor beam. 4500. Uh just wait till you get to play it, man. It it, it I, I can't describe I, I really cannot describe how good it feels to play this game. I mean, it's it's awesome. Deflectors can be triggered to temporarily absorb excess damage. Uh, that's 45. I do need to improve my shields, though. So that's what I'm going to work on. And a moderate recharge. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I would. Okay. Let's see hull. Oh, definitely want to improve that. Okay. All right. So I improved my. Sh did I improve my deflectors? Um. I have four deflectors. Can be okay. I think I did. All right. Let's see. Better broadside weapons. Can't do those just yet. Let's see Alpha Turret. Hmm. Trade in for a single barrel flak turret is deadly. Is a deadly anti-aircraft weapon. Faster and more accurate than side-mounted flak cannons. Warning, it is only effective against fighters and gunships. Oh, I'll take it. Yeah, that's money well spent. Let's see. Oh yeah, I definitely see a difference. I see the parts that they put on the plant on the uh, spaceship. You can't tell, but if you look at the ship as you're putting the parts on it, you could see like little minuscule um, aesthetic parts that they put on it. Well, my ship looks a lot thinner than what it was before. Yeah, I like that. I'm satisfied with my ship. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go back here. What is this? Surplus. Ceramic plating. Sell for 2500 uh, Next component. Engines. Okay, so boosters. Uh, let's 
let's see, buy for 199 standard booster. Okay, don't have enough for that. Okay, man, I'll be right here. You know, this is something else that's pretty cool, too. Um, this is... Let me go back so you can see what it is. Uh, if you go right here where it says Commodities Market, and you go into this area, this is like an in-space or an in-game um, Wall Street. This is actually pretty cool. If you look at the graph to the right, it shows you the value of any of these materials or resources. How much they're worth, what are their lower values, what are their higher values. Um, you can get into, uh, you, you can buy stuff and, I mean, it's just crazy, man. Let's see, system average, 60, space in home, 4 of 10. This item is commonly imported from Swindle Station. Okay, so we don't want to buy that. They have some stuff that's illegal. Um, you can still purchase it if you have the required funds for, for it. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of stuff in here you can buy, but you got to be careful because if you hesitate, it could be taken off the market real quick. That's one of the things that I've learned about uh, that part of it. Let's see. Dismiss mercenary to hire news board. Tech boom, a scientific a scientific boom on Ramstein has resulted in a surplus of high quality tech gear. Welcome. What can I do for you? No, we don't need to talk Come to you. Come back again. any Alright, so let's go ahead and exit out of here. Let's see what new parts and stuff we got. Oh, See the difference already in the thrusters. Oh uh, yeah, they look completely different. Oh, I like that. I like that. Let's see what do we have here? Detect hostile. Let's go. Let's go fight some enemies and see exactly. What we got going on here? Accelerating to sublight. Scatter turret. Yeah. Oh, I know, yeah. 
ever want to talk about. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can't fight it. Let's see. Let's see. Definitely a lot stronger. The weapons and, and um, armor and stuff that I put on it definitely makes it a lot stronger. So let's see how how do we save? Um, oh wait, here we go. No, that's not it. Okay, so that's my current location, and that's the lines actually show where I've been. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. How do I save? Um, you don't have... The only time you have to return to a station is when you need to repair your ship, um, drop off missions, or uh, you need to save your game. And I'm trying to figure out how to save my game. It just had something that popped up there, but uh, equipment. Let's see, 
Detail ordnance. Launchers installed. Trying to figure out how to save the game. Uh, yeah, there is a map. There's a map you can access um, from your menu. Then, um, uh, let me see where it's at. There you go. Uh, okay, if you go, if you look at the bottom of the screen. If you look at the bottom of the uh, screen, there's a squ the square button. Uh, you hit that, and it shows you um, the map. It shows you every location you you've been. And it also shows you where all the different places are in the galaxy. You can also access that, access that from your ship as well. I am seriously trying to figure out how to save my game. That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out. And I think I know how I can, I think I know how I can check. Let's see. Um, game saved. Oh, I guess it automatically saved. Oh, okay, so it saves automatically. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I thought I had to save it myself, but you just basically go back to whatever station you were at and it'll automatically save it. It, it automatically saves your game when you go to a, a space station, so you don't actually have to do it yourself. Yeah, I tried looking it up, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it at all, but maybe they had to go to now. Try again, because I definitely want the soundtrack. Well, well, look what we got here. Threat level red. Data turret. Missiles inbound. Threat 
Level threat high. Whoa. Damn, he's shooting me from the low Definitely rocks. You can't live just the clouds alone. Deflectors defeated. Satellite boosters defeated. makes a difference to your overall uh, survivability. So the less damage you can prevent to your ship, the better. As long as your hull is not taking too much damage, you're good. Alright, got him. 
Yes, I'm not. Uh, you have, um, you, you have, uh, storms that you can actually enter into. You know, I've, I've heard rumors that there's black holes. I haven't seen any, but, um, you know, there's enough space for you to, uh, fly through to see if something like that is possible. Moving to attack. Yeah, for some reason, you can't have a hard time killing this guy as shit. We're getting them! We're getting them! Oh, he's mine! He's mine! Oh, yeah, buddy. Moving to engage. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, we're getting them. I think his ship stalled on him. That's a kill. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm just going to go ahead and collect all of his, uh... Collision warning. Uh-oh. Uh, where do you have any, uh... Accelerate. you have any goods? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What does that say? Detected, detected valuable. Warp drive. Let's go and see what we got here. Ah, it says ordinance replenished. Okay, cool. Alright. You know, the one thing that I'm glad I don't have to deal with is uh, having to refill the ship. Refueling the ship. Sublight boosters depleted. Alright, so moving on to our next target here. When you upgrade your ship, whether it be, um, you know, thrusters, boosters, uh, warp drives, weaponry, I mean, you can clearly feel the difference when it upgrades. Sublight boosters depleted. Feel the difference. Look at that. Wow. You can see the flare from the planet. Yeah, they they have um they have interstellar weather effects. Like you can fly through a cloud that has an electrical storm going on. Yeah. Most definitely, dude. Yeah, that's what really does it. I mean, there's a there's a lot of selling points in the game, and I mean, I can't stress enough just how uh, awesome it feels. I can just imagine what No Man's Sky is going to be like.
Ah, uh, most definitely. Moving to attack. Are you serious? Get Enemy the hell out of here, dude. Detected. Collision warning. Deflectors depleted. Whoa. I have got to get the hell out of here. Threat level orange. Wow. Exiting sublight. Oh, what the hell was that? Okay. We're out of there. We're on to the next one. Let's just say double jack strike. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Mag mines. That other ship must have put him out. Time to find out how cold it is outside. Threat level red. Uh, dude. Wow, that's a lot of ships, dude. Shovel shields down. Ordnance depleted. Uh, yeah. Stubborn shields down. Stubborn hull breached. Deflectors depleted. Missiles inbound. Oh, wait. Oh, damn, I went the wrong way. Satellite boosters depleted. Okay, so they weren't my actual target. They're really tough here. Missiles inbound. How are they able to hit me and I'm out of range? Unless they're chasing me. Threat level orange. To engage. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm not ready to take on two and shit that one time. Look at that right there, man. That's just so awesome. You know what? Let's go close to this Let's see just how well this is, uh... Let's just see how well this game is crafted. I just want to do a flyby next to this planet just to see how close I can get. If you look at the planet real good, man, you can actually see the flares coming off of it. If you put your hand over the planet and look right underneath the uh, outer ring of the planet, you can see the flares coming off of it. Satellite boosters depleted. Uh, yeah, I, I remember, hey, there's a, 
there's another movie uh, called uh, Ice Pirates that took place in uh, outer space. It's an old 80s movie, but uh, it's a pretty funny movie. Sublight boosters depleted. This definitely reminds me of Spaceballs. Yeah, see, as I get closer to this planet or sun, which is what it looks like, you can actually see the flares on it. Oh, this is so crazy. Yeah, this is crazy. You can see the flares coming off of the planet. Whoa. Look at that. Sublight boosters yeah. I love the Ice Pirates, dude. That's one of my favorite old uh favorite 80s movie. Dude, take a look at this planet. Wow. You can see the flares coming off of it. Wow. That's pretty awesome. You can see the flares and they're going, they're coming out of the planet and they're going back into it. That is awesome. Holy smack. Dude, look at the side of my ship. Look at the damage. I still have the damage on my ship. Looks like a hole in my ship. Yeah, I gotta go and repair my ship, dude. Accelerating to sublight. Yeah, I gotta hurry up and get back to the base and uh, repair my ship. This right here. Exiting oh, that's a planet. rain though when it rained and you, you saw the uh thunder and the lightning dude that was awesome i used to love being at the highest point in the game dude watching it time to find out how cold it is outside
gonna be able to outrun me. I'm a bad, bad man. Got him. Hold full. Threat level orange. Hold full. Oh, what the hell? Hold full. Ah, my heart was full. Oh, I definitely gotta upgrade my hull. Alright, so back to the spaceport we go. Damn, I can't get it. Take care, man. Thank you for hanging out with me. Oh, that's a frigate. I'm definitely not fighting those. No way. Please, just let me get away from it. Yeah, engage warp.
Warning. Stalking. All right, let's repair our ship. Complete. All right, ship's fully repaired. Weapons are reloaded. All right, so what's around us? Engage that damn ship. Ah, this is a real mess. Hey, you damn right, that's a real mess. I'm gonna fight that damn ship. Yeah, better let the space station handle that. I'm gonna fight that damn thing. Sublight boosters depleted. They're tearing me up. Oh yeah, of course it's tearing you up. Satellite boosters depleted. Engines at maximum. Accelerating the satellite. Roger. Satellite boosters depleted. Exiting satellite. Alright, so I'm gonna stop right here. 